hey guys, so today I'm showing you how to make some vanilla cupcakes. And obviously it's out of the box. And frosting out of the box. So, I'm just using vanilla cupcake and make sure you follow your box. Um, mine just now with the vanilla cupcake mix and this is the opened. The package is not out. But, um, yeah, so. And I'll tell you what mine takes. And it takes this mix, um, one stick of butter, and two large eggs. So, first thing, first what you want to do is, one minute. And, um, oh, and obviously you want to clear your surface. And what you will also need for baking is a large mixing bowl. A bowl to melt it in. And this is for vanilla cupcakes. Obviously vanilla cupcake mix. Eggs for it. Stick of butter. Um, muffin tins or whatever you call them. I mean, muffin things and liners and a muffin tin. And, oh, and you want to take a beater. I like search for the beater. And then, um, what you want is the, um, um, icing. If you're going to use mine, you need the icing mix, and this is chocolate. You need the icing mix, and one stick of butter. And obviously a bowl to melt it in. What do I do now? Just leave it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first things first is you're going to want to make your cupcake mix. Then how long do I put the butter in? 40. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So um, first of all you want to melt your butter for 30 Seconds. Mine is a bit too large, so I'm probably gonna cut mine in half. This this bowl is too small for it, so I'm gonna cut my butter in half and lay them like a tea. Even minutes you can do that if your bowl is too small. So I usually do. So see mine is like that. put in your microwave for 35 seconds or 30 seconds so probably so for 30 seconds I got a pretty liquidy consistency but I'm sorry that you can see a bit so like a few chunks of butter so I'm just gonna mix it up see if the heat will melt down those chunks of butter and it really didn't but kind of did so I'm just gonna pop it in for 10 more seconds. So now I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds to go by. So it did not melt a lot, so I might have to mix it. Might I might be able to see it. But sorry, I can't see my legs right now. But, um it should be nice and good because you can have a few chunks in there. And you do not need your microwave anymore. Then you want to take your large mixing bowl. And you want to take your cupcake mix. I need to find mine. I take your cupcake mix. There's something in there, right? No. Not yellow. No, I don't think so. So. Oh, it's pretty open. Okay. So. 
know. Oh, don't pour it into the butter bowl. Um, so then you want to pour it into the big bowl. And then, what I like to do, you don't have to do this. Um, <coughs> it smells delicious, by the way. Um, but like, your mom's going to grab a pizza. Ooh! Just um, I like to kind of even mine out, and then I uh, kind of pop these bubbles as I say, or kill the chunks. Then you want to add your butter. And then add your eggs. So I'll see you after I mix and add my eggs. So after it's well heated, it should look exactly like this. Then you want to set this, your batter aside, and you want to get your muffin tin. Then you're going to take your muffin liner, or whatever, tin liner, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, it doesn't want to open. That one's ruined. So we have these fun Easter -y ones. They're good for April and March. And you can thicken them by doing double if you like. I don't know. Going to do double. I don't add a double mine up. So, but if you do, go ahead. And if you would like, you can spray these with like stuff if you want to. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Actually, two are extra. This one will ruin it for up both. So, then what you want to do is you want to take a big spoon and fill your things up. So, see you after I do that. 